गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर बिजनेस स्टडीज बुक स्टूडेंट्स द चैप्टर नेम इज कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दैट हाउ द कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन वर्क्स एंड व्हाई कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन इज नेसेसरी सो first of all we have to understand that what is a consumer means who is a consumer consumer means who are the consumer we all are consumer because we consume goods and services use them use this okay and on behalf of money okay or in lieu of money so what is the definition of consumer a consumer means any person who buy any goods for a consideration which has been paid or promised or partially paid or partially promised or under a system of deferred payment so we can say that he or she is a consumer now or a person who hire any services like goods like services for consideration which has been paid or promised partially paid or partially promised or under the system of deferred payment so in a simple way consumer is a person who consume goods or avail of any services okay in consideration or for satisfaction in lieu of money now who is not a consumer so a person who purchase goods for resale it is not considered as a consumer a person who purchase goods for commercial purpose so that person is also don't considered as a consumer next a person who obtain services without consideration and a person who obtains services under a contract of personal services or any tax payer to community or contractor or applicants for job or a person who files suit in courts so all these persons are not considered as a consumer now consumer protection consumer protection means a safeguard to the consumer so consumer protection refers to not only providing education to consumers about their rights and responsibility but also help in getting their grievances redressed means consumer protection means it refers to educate consumer about their right their responsibility and it is very important for getting their relief or any grievances which is redressed by a redress redressal agencies now what is the consumer protection act when this consumer protection registered under a act 1986 that it is called consumer protection act 1968 so student this law was enacted in 1968 to protect interest of consumer in india why the consumer protection act made for the protection of the interest the profit of the consumers in india another reason to make provision for establishment of consumer councils for settlement of consumer dispute this act applies to all goods and services it also guide how to file a case in consumer court provide justice to consumer okay so and it was passed by both the houses of parliament i hope you all are all have understood that what is the consumer protection act now some more things it aims at the providing better protection of the interest of the consumer and also the, the important thing is this act applies to the whole of india except jammu and kashmir okay now why we need the consumer protection 
the question arises why we need a consumer protection due to adulteration spurious spurious goods misleading advertising advertising artificial scarcity scarcity and other problem due to these fraudulent activities which is done by a marketer by a seller we need consumer protection okay now who can com- file a complaint means if the consumer get hurt or get any fraud then who are the people who complaint a file number 1 a consumer second any registered consumer association third central government or any state government one or more consumer on behalf of numerous consumer having the same interest and last one is any legal higher or representative of a diseased consumer okay so these are the person who can file a complaint against any fraud now what are the rights of consumer so students there are six rights of consumer number one is right to information means the all the consumer have a right for the information about the product second right to choose means person or a, a people a consumer has a full right to choose anything which is which is wanted or needed by a consumer next right to safety means it is a right of a consumer to get the safety product means a product with a safety like in a electronic product isi mark product is safe and they can use or purchase that product so this is a right of a consumer to have a safe guard now right to education consumer education is most 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 important so it is a right of a consumer to get all the education about its rights and responsibility and last uh, second last is right to heard right to heard means right to be heard means consumer has a right to say what he want and it is a right that the marketer the seller heard his or her, or her any problem all problems and the need they want okay so it is a right to be heard next redressal it is a right to seek redressal means if the consumer get uh, meet with any fraud then it is a right that they he can complain a file into the redressal agencies like national commission state commission and local commission which we will will learn in next uh, slide or next uh, page now responsibilities of a consumer look students these rights and responsibilities both are very important topic okay so number 1 is be quality conscious it is a responsibility of a consumer that he or she should be a quality conscious they cannot compromise with the quality so it is a responsibility that they get a qualified or a quality product now next is collect proof of transaction means it is a right of a consumer or it is it is also a responsibility of a consumer that he has to collect the proof of the transaction means cash memo so this is the another responsibility next is complaint for genuine grievance if there is a genuine grievance genuine problem then it is a responsibility of a consumer to file a suit against a seller next proper use of product or services proper use of services is also the responsibility of a consumer next consumer must be aware of their right they should know about their right and it is a responsibility of the customer 
beware of misleading advertisement means if there is any advertisement which mislead the product that the consumer is a responsibility to beware about it next responsibility to inspect a variety of good before making selection so it is a right of right or we can say that it is a responsibility of consumer that they should inspect a variety of goods before making any selection or before any purchase now composition of redressal agencies so students redressal agencies where the consumer go and file their case number 1 is national commission number 2 state commission and number 3 is district forum so let's learn in detail now establishment first we will discuss about the district forum look student district forum is established by a state government and a state commission is governed uh, go, uh, established by a state government and national commission is uh, established by a central government now we talk if we talk about its composition in a district forum chairman and two members are there means one shall be a woman next in term of 5 years or up to 65 years of age whichever is earlier now head the head or the main um, president we can say that the president in our district forum is should be the pursuing or a retired district judge now in the state commission the composition is that there is a one president and minimum two of the member and one should be a woman the term for 5 years or age 65 years whichever is earlier and the head or the president should be the retired or pursuing high court judge same compo- uh, now composition in national commission there is a one president and four minimum members one should and one shall be a woman and the terms and condition are for the four year five year experience or up to the 70 years whichever is less now here the head who is the head or the president the head or the president who is sitting means pursuing or retired judge of supreme court is the president in a national commission now jurisdiction in district forum jurisdiction or the case is up to in terms of money less than 20 lakh means the case which is less than 20 lakh is comes under the district forum and if the case amount range is 20 lakh to 1 crore comes under state commission and more than 1 crore under national commission now appeal if a consumer want to appeal then in a state whether it is a supreme whether it is a state commission means if it is a uh, if the district forum uh, if the consumer is not satisfied to with the district forum then he complain a file again uh, uh, again file a complaint in a strict commission within a 30 days if the person is not satisfied with the state commission then within 30 day he will complain that uh, uh, or um, complete that file or file a complaint in a national commission means transfer his case into the national commission but if the national commission in a national commission is also he is not satisfied then this uh, that case goes to the supreme court and the days is within a 30 days now remedies or relief which is get by a commissions or forums or redressal agencies to the customers are number 1 is removal of defect from the goods second replacement of the goods third refund of the price paid 
फोर्थ अवार्ड ऑफ कंपनसेशन फॉर अ लॉस और इंजरी सफर्ड नेक्स्ट रिमूवल ऑफ डिफेक्ट्स एंड डिफिशियंसीज इन द सर्विसेज नेक्स्ट डिसकंटिन्यूएंस ऑफ अनफेयर ट्रेड प्रैक्टिसेस एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टिव ट्रेड प्रैक्टिसेस एंड रीडायरेक्टिंग नॉट रिपीटिंग दैम नेक्स्ट विदड्रॉल ऑफ हजारियस फूड्स फॉर बींग ऑफर्ड फॉर सेल एंड लास्ट वन इज अवॉर्ड फॉर एडिक्यूट कॉस्ट ऑफ टू प्रैक्टिस सो दीज आर द रिलीज विच इज गेट बाय कमीशंस एंड फॉरम्स टू द कस्टमर नेक्स्ट इज नेम ऑफ द फ्यू कंज्यूमर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड एन जी ओज नंबर वन इज कंज्यूमर कोऑर्डिनेशन काउंसिल डेली कॉमन कॉज डेली वॉलेंट्री एजुकेशन इन इंटरेस्ट ऑफ कंज्यूमर एजुकेशन वॉइस डेली कंज्यूमर एजु एसोसिएशन कोलकाता सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस चैप्टर हैज़ बीन कम्प्लीटेड थैंक यू साइराम